this is the so-called H558 5010 Fieldmaster. Uh, I, I call it actually the Arnie Fieldmaster, but that's probably not correct, uh, in large part because this watch came out before the Arnie. Isn't it the first one with the ashtray bezel? It's it, The ashtray bezel was in fact in, created for this model. Wow. This is the first of the H558s. This watch was designed by the, the man and the team who designed the 6105 divers mm -hmm. and the 6309, 6306 divers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it's, it, this was, but he and his team, when they were given the task of building a watch around this new movement, this H movement, this hybrid movement, this is what they came up with with one of Seiko's greatest, greatest finishes, that beautiful satin bead blasting. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you, what kind of finish it was. Yep, these came with a black leather strap like this. Um, this is not the original strap. The original strap died. It's supposed to be ever so slightly wider so that it just notches over the lugs a little bit, but this is so close as to have, it, it's really close. This is, and it's a nice strap, it's a Hadley Roma. The, the bezel, rotates. It's, very, it's a smooth, bi-directional. And one of the things that's nice, normally when you see these, the main sweeps are faded down to almost sort of a yellowish white, and that orange is typically gone too. In fact, the inserts are usually pretty beaten. This is really nice. This is probably going to be one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. What year is it from? Uh, well, let's, let's look at that old case back, shall we? Boop. To four. Okay, November 84. There it is. It's a cool watch. You want to talk about bragging. Almost nobody, nobody has one of these. There's the there's the original crown for it, again with that satin finish. It's such a pretty watch. It's so nicely done. It looks so sporty. Like it's 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 just a real eye catcher. There's just nothing else that that looks like this, especially with that you know that beautiful beautiful ashtray bezel. Citizen does some things like it, but this is a lot more restrained. In any case, it is fully serviced. It is completely rebuilt. Oh, what? Oh, nothing. I see you trying to avoid the light. I'm trying to it's avoid the light. <laughs> also, I just went through and fully cleaned the case again. So I took the whole case apart, I cleaned everything, and I put in an NOS Genuine Seiko crystal. These crystals are actually not easy to find. So I had one, and it went in. So all new seals, everything's been redone. New crown gasket, new crown gasket retaining ring, new things here. I went through uh, the back. I just, the movement's already serviced and everything's fine with that. I just wanted to make sure the case was clean and to swap the, uh, and to swap the, the crystal. I did that and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. In any case, it's on the website and I don't think you're going to find another one quite as nice anywhere, especially not one serviced by serviced here. Yep. Okay. See you folks later.